something crazy just happened. We, for the first time ever, for the first time as the Gale Force Twins LLC. Yes, for the first, for the first time, time, we were on TV. <laughs> we had a news interview on the daytime show in Tampa. We're in Tampa right now. We are in Tampa, Florida. We decided they invited us to be on their show and we decided to, well, let's make a weekend out of it. Today is a Friday and we are going to be fishing in Disney World and Epcot on Saturday. And then on Monday and Tuesday, we are going to be doing some inshore and freshwater fishing on, what is it, kind of the east coast of Florida, you know? I'm not entirely sure, sure. We have it organized, but I have to go back and look at my Exactly notes. where we're fishing. You guys, we are so excited. We're on the daytime show. This YouTube video is going to be a little unique from our previous videos. In this video, we are going to show you guys the news interview. We will link it in the description box if you want to go direct and watch it there. However, we're going to show it to you right now in this video. My name is Amanda. My name is Emily. Welcome to our channel, Gail Force Twins. that after the pandemic, they had to switch gears from being fishing charter captains to outdoor vlogging stars. They have now garnered over 100,000 likes on Facebook, 60,000 YouTube subscribers, while catching probably even more fish than that here in Florida. Let's take a look. We see baby sharks. Let's go find these baby sharks. We're at a baby shark nursery. We got a baby got shark. shark. All right, I think we should let him go. All right. Give him a fighting chance at life. Hold on. Let's put him in the it's water. Oh, he is feisty. Look. We did it! We now welcome from Gale Force Twins, Captain Amanda and Captain Emily Gale. Guys, didn't it occur to you that when you were holding the baby shark that maybe the mama shark wouldn't like that? That is very that possible. Is, well, but okay. It, yes, but actually, usually, once a baby shark is born, they have to leave their mommy shark very quickly because if not, the mommy shark will well, eat the baby shark. Very so you're actually ah. safer for the baby shark than the mama shark is because you didn't eat them. So right. yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And when you're going out there, do you want to sing baby shark? No, yeah, don't put I mean, that in everyone's head. No, baby yeah, no. shark. Definitely. definitely hard. We, we did film Baby Shark. We've <laughs> seen the song a few times in that video. It is 10 a.m. Everyone needs to calm down. There's no Baby Shark going on. So tell us about your journey from being captains to now vloggers. Actually, you're doing really well as vloggers. Thank yeah. You. It's been, like, actually so much fun. We started off as charter boat captains, started off fishing on so many different boats, working, having our own charter boat, mm -hmm. and then... COVID happened and everyone stopped traveling, everyone stopped meeting together and I mean being on a boat you're in kind of a small space so you can't really stay six feet apart kind of thing and that was I think we always knew that we wanted to pursue more than just charter fishing and it almost was the perfect chance for us we were able to say okay let's full force like go into vlogging YouTube videos educational and our big thing has always been we always say we want, want to do three things which is to educate entertain and explain those are the three things we want to do in all of our videos, and honestly, it's just been really fun. Yeah, it's been a crazy ride. We had no idea how quickly it would grow, and it, it's been really, really amazing. Yeah. I mean, you guys are almost at 60,000 YouTube mm -hmm. subscribers. Yeah, yeah. How quickly did that happen? Um, I would say that, so when, when back in, what was it, March, mm -hmm. we started with 1,000 subscribers, and within three months, we had one of our videos, I wouldn't say it went major viral, but we called it our mini viral, because it was viral for our following which got us from 1,000 to pretty much 30,000. And then from there, it's been a steady climb. So I would say that we've gotten mm -hmm. there. And but our Facebook page actually just hit 100,000. So Whoa. that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Our that Facebook just actually happened. is doing better than, in, than YouTube, even though a lot of people prefer to watch on YouTube. Yeah. Who came up with the name Gale Force Twins? Because we love that name. Well, yeah. Sure. That, that actually has a story to that it. That started in high school track. We ran track. We were pole vaulters. We At were, where? 
Happy you, anniversary. You. Anniversary. I'm not okay. going to participate. I'm a gator, so sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> shot, shot anyway, you were saying. And um, one of the coaches was just like, oh, it's the Gale Force twins. It's just, just kind of as a sports thing. Yeah, it was kind of like a joke that people call it the Gale Force twins are here. And, and then once we were by our senior year of college, we decided to have a fun summer and take a job on a fishing boat in Key West. It was just kind of literally on a whim. Let's do this. And we did. And that's kind of stuck. It's like, oh, you're yeah. a Gale Force twin. And, <laughs> and it's, it's our last name. It's spelled the same way. It's spelled the, the same way. So it just really fits. It's meant to be. It is. Yeah. Has that coach come back and been like, um, I came up with that. So you <laughs> owe me well, some moolah. Actually, yeah, we have reached out to them. And I don't even think they realized that they started it until I told them. You informed them? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, oh. we're big secrets out. No. <laughs> So what is it like as a female fishing captain? I mean, that's a very, very male-oriented world. It is very male-dominant, I would definitely say that. We've had a lot of really great mentors that have been men in the industry that have helped us. But of course, you, we do deal with some of the more, some of the old-fashioned men are a little bit like, this is a man's world. And, but we deal with a little bit of both. But I, I would say for the most part, we get a crazy amount of support. A crazy amount of support and encouragement. It's, I, gone the opposite way for us yeah like nine times out of ten so thankfully that's been really nice I mean obviously there are some things that are different you know obviously when we go fishing with a group of guys one of the biggest questions is well how do you use the bathroom which is actually kind of funny um, how do you oh, how yeah. well, we, we don't <laughs> you just you don't just, use the bathroom. I mean, okay. I mean as there's always buckets you can always jump in the water there's always options but that's for the most part, we usually just wait. We don't really wait. That is always a question that. for when yeah. we have charter, because that's always been a question for women and kids when they come on our boat and they come fishing. It's like, well, do you have a bathroom on your boat? And we're always actually tell them, well, we don't. And but it's really not a big deal. It's very normal. That's probably the biggest challenge being a woman in this world is. Yeah. <laughs> Where you go to the bathroom. Where you go to the bathroom. Yeah. Wait, yeah. do men on fishing trips just pee off the side of the boat? Very true. Yes. Yes. Oh. Of I mean, they don't fish. have to. They can use a bucket if they like, but. <laughs> Oh, okay. I, you guys said it was funny. That's not funny at all. It's traumatizing, and I'm, I'm really sorry you have to go. There are that. boats that have heads on them. Our boat is a center console, so it's much more minimalistic. So for us, we don't have a head. Yes, there are tons of boats that do have so heads. So if anybody wanted to book a charter, they could totally find, look, look in the sport fish category, and they'll have a head for you. So before we go, tell everybody where they can find you. Oh, galeforcefishing.com would be the best place, or at Galeforce Twins on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and, and TikTok. TikTok. Oh, oh my God! Was that was that practice? Did you guys? No, no. Hold no, on, you practice. both just—I guess this sounds weird. The twins, but you said that the same thing at the same time, just like that. Yeah. Let's, that, yeah. let's try it. Let's let's wrap this up. So. Oh. You, we'll be. Oh. No, well, we're not twins. We're clearly not twins. We're clearly. Uh, take yeah, it away, Danny. It turns Danny. out we're not twins, uh, Amanda, Emily. Thanks for your time. Best of luck there. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no problem. That was so fun, so amazing, such a cool experience. We got a chance. I mean, it was it went so fast. I mean, that was the fastest six minutes of my life. I think that's how long it was. was. It was it was six minutes. But we've been getting some comments from you guys saying you missed the twin truths. Twin truths. And I think we have a twin truth for share with you. What is it you say? Our twin truth is that we have been on the news before. However, it was not in our business life. It was in our previous careers as pole vaulters. It was on a local channel in what, Melbourne or Cocoa Beach. Oh my gosh, I forgot about yes. that. It was in, I believe, Melbourne, Florida when we were high school pole vaulters training with our high school pole vaulting coach, Bobby Head, with Pole Vault City. And the local news station came over there to I'm gonna Pole Vault try. City. Let's try really hard to find that. Todd from Florida Runners here with Amanda Gale and Emily Gale, first and third in the pole vault today. Just talk about the afternoon. Well, it was basically, we knew that if we were going to um, vault well, we had to clear every bar first attempt, or as close first attempt as we could. And I was able to do that all the way up to 12-6, and she did a pretty good job. Almost so, every bar first attempt. The only bars that I didn't make first attempt were blow throughs, so that's a good thing. It means I needed to go to the next pole. I noticed that after you cleared an, uh, a bar and she cleared a bar, you guys both hugged each other. I mean, what is what is that relationship like and just kind of, you know, always being there for each other? Um, it's really nice to have your best friend and your sister with you all the time. And we support each other. And right before I did 12-6, she's like, do this well for me. She was out. And when she told me that, I was like, I'm this friend. It really helps having your best friend support you, even when 
I beat her. She was like, oh, no, I still want you to win. She went to talk to you, and you kind of pushed her away, though, didn't you? Well, I thought she was coming to give me a hug on the front when I was like, no, not now. I need to vault. But she's actually going to talk to me. I didn't realize. <laughs> Last year, you won the state title. This year, your sister, I mean, if it could go to anybody else, I mean, how grateful are you glad, you know, that it went to her? Yes, if it was anybody, I'd rather have it to be her. And as soon as I was out, I, th I didn't think about what place I got. All I cared was that she was going to win. And that's why I told her, you need to do this for me, because I wanted her to win. You guys went out there. I, no I noticed you, you kept looking uh, at Coach Heck. I mean, did you want to go sooner than he was telling you? I mean, you kind of gave him that look like, can I, can I go already? Well, um, they said the wind was really bad down by the pit, and I knew the wind felt different from where I was standing. So where I was standing, I was like, oh, there's no wind, there's no wind. But um, Bobby could feel the wind down there, so I was swinging on his call to tell me when the wind was good to go. How does it feel to be a state champion? Um, it feels great knowing that all the hard work after four years of training has finally paid off. And now you guys are going to both go to the same college. You're going to uh, Louisiana Lafayette. What are you looking forward to the most? Um, four more years of pole vaulting. <laughs> I'm just excited to get four more years to jump higher and just to like graduate high school and to be more in the real world. you have any goals in college? Um, I want to go to NCAAs, preferably my freshman year. That's like one of my goals. Yeah, same goal. <laughs> same, same goal. Now, I read an article that you both are extremely good bakers. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty, first of all, that's a pretty big deal to be on uh, Yahoo Sports. What was that like? I know. All of a sudden, I had friends calling me and texting me, and they're like, I saw you on the front page of Yahoo. I had no idea they were talking about it. I'm like, no, I'm not. I and couldn't then I, find it myself. We were looking for it, and my friend had to text me a picture. I didn't know it was there. So what's your favorite thing to bake? Well, cupcakes. We always bake cupcakes. Um, anything that's cute and colorful. Any like favorite flavors or designs or anything? I like my favorite's carrot cake. So, and then we love getting intricate with the details. Fantastic. Maybe uh, next time uh, we see them, maybe at the Holy Trinity meet or wherever, um, later down the road in the postseason or in college, maybe they'll bake us some cupcakes. Amanda, your state champion. Emily, your sister, third place today. Great job, ladies. We are thankful to all of you for putting us on this journey. I mean, we've just made it to our first. I would consider this big time. Big time. We just got our big break. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. We appreciate you joining us on this journey. Make sure you follow Gale Force Twins. Let's do it together. Ready? On Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok.